final final for this round. I'm sure in a couple months people will be like, stop playing video games. You guys are terrible at that. And you're marginally less terrible at making lists. We're just going to keep making more tier lists. Yeah, yeah, we're just, we're just going to keep doing whatever the fuck. Uh, we've been doing this for nine years. Give us a break, man. It's fucking fun. <laughs> it is I'm fun. I'm having a great time doing it. Yeah. Why are there two muscular kangaroos? The Why are there middle? two muscular rhinos? The proof is in the pudding, Dan. Let's start. That, you need. You can't just say that. <laughs> You have to establish the pudding. Yeah. The well, pudding is the animals. It's all right. All right. This is uh, animals that I could take in a fight. Is that what this is? Yes. Okay. So we have to rank our animals based on from the top, they kill me, mm -hmm. to the bottom, I kill them. Okay. <laughs> okay. And, then, and then the shades of gray in between. All right. Well, you know what? Let's, let's do some context here because yeah. obviously... We love animals, and we don't want to hurt any of them. So let's just say, for the sake of this tier list, we are alone on an island, mm -hmm. stranded, okay, with one of these animals, right? And the only way to keep our family alive is to take these animals in a fight and kill them. Is that okay? So that you're cool? so you're injecting like a, a sense of desperation and stakes into it. Yes. That that is aside from just not dying. Right. Okay. Right. Like right. like we we need we can't just run away. We need we need to kill these animals to survive and for our 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 children to survive and okay. thrive. Yeah. For 8 more hours until they become hungry again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we'll we'll yeah, we'll use the meat from some of these animals to cook a delicious meal. Mhm. Mm um And then the rescue copter is coming right after that. Yeah. So that's but not any time sooner. Right. Right. Yeah. It's, it's not just like we're the rescue copter's coming and we're going to get like a little peckish <laughs> before <laughs> then. No, we will die. Everyone will die. Yeah. Um, so first up, ostrich. Oh, man. They have the advantage for sure. They do. Yeah, I think so. They're, they're strong. They're gigantic. They're big kickers, I believe. I don't think they would kill you, though. I feel like you could really just wail on them with some with some big kicks i don't know i don't know there's you could grab their stupid I, little neck i know there there's are they anything like cassowaries where they have like the giant like dinosaur feet that they can just tear you apart with yes Th then yeah all, i don't all think big, all big birds have that i don't think we're winning then yeah but like grab the fucking neck and just pull like you easier know? said than done man that neck is way up there ah you're tall i'm tall it's true if you just got like one good, I mean, because all you have to do, right, is get like a, like a long swipe with your arm, mm -hmm. and then just kind of like wait till the neck is right at the palm, and then just eh, and then just go, ah, 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 you know, like <laughs> just wiggle it around, you know. It's very possible. Yeah, you know what? You convinced me with that very well thought out breakdown. That's what I'm saying. Oh, and well, oh, 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 my, oh, my oh, God. oh my God! Oh my! You somehow knocked over everything. <laughs> that was amazing. Aaron, Aaron had his feet up, relaxing, and he and he started to kick over the the big plastic table that the oh, the mouse God. and the keyboard were on. And in trying to save that, he also knocked over oh, his shit. monster and his cup, and everything else. Oh God! Wow. All right. Never seen anything did like I that. Did I accidentally close it? Oh, I think you did. That's okay. I'll just look up my history. Okay. Uh, sexy dragon, sexy dragon. <laughs> it's a lot of. Can't you just push Control Shift T and it'll reopen your last tab? Really? Control Shift T. Oh man, but the keyboard's on the ground. Well, Aaron, oh. you need that for the computer. Control Shift T. All right. Okay, so yeah, I would put I would put the ostrich in. They have the advantage. <sighs> All right, they have the advantage, but not impossible. Not impossible. Yeah. Uh. King Cobra. Oof, man, that's another they have the advantage, isn't it? Yeah, Venom. And they're fast. And they spit, right? They can spit Venom. Do they? I think so. That's fucking, that's I, fucked up. Allie, can you look that up for me? Which one? Can, King Cobra. Can Cobra spit Venom? Uh, I, I think they would most likely kill me. Not they kill me, mm -hmm. because if I got a good stomp on the head, they'd just be done. Yes. Sort of depends on what clothes you're wearing. If you're wearing thick stuff that they're 
their fangs they can't can get through? They can get through so much, dude. I know. But, like, what if I was wearing, like, that, like, my astronaut suit that I sometimes wear around the house? Like a parka? Yeah, like a big, big old astronaut parka. I'm going to say they most likely kill me. Fair enough. Um, yeah. According to the Wikipedia, mm-hmm. they do not spit. They do not. But they, uh, rather than biting and retreating, it may sustain its bite and inject a large quantity of venom, which is a medical emergency. Ow. Nice. Great. That's fun. Okay, we're doing well so far. Um, a alligator. Yeah, they kill me. Well, counterpoint. <laughs> all right. By all means. I am a Florida boy. Yes. So I have been trained all of the alligator fighting ways. Mm-hmm. Number one, zigzag. All right? Okay. They run really fast for a very limited amount of time. Yeah, well, so do we. So if you... <laughs> so if you... Uh, serpentine, Mm -hmm. they can't, they can't turn very fast. Can't lock in on you? Yeah. Then they get very tired after the big sprint. Mm -hmm. Uh, second, um, they have amazing, uh, jaw closing power. Yes. Not amazing jaw opening power. I remember that from when I wrestled one. Um. Not my smartest move either. So if you can jump on their back and then hold their mouth closed, you have won. Right. Sounds super easy. Well, I mean, if you're in a desperate situation to not die and also save your family and also eat later. Yeah, maybe. They have the advantage for sure. Okay, yeah. But the fucking alligators. I, just, I, I think in comparison to the, the king cobra and the alligator, the mm-hmm. king cobra is way faster. It's true. It's way harder to, like, get that advantage. Mm-hmm. But with an alligator, you can sort of, like, whittle it down, you know? Okay. Uh, bunny. I kill them. Yeah. That's pretty clear. I love me some rabbits, but, like, I've been to a lot of museums lately, and there is no museum display with rabbits and another animal where the rabbit is not being eaten. <laughs> <laughs> it's just part of their life, man. Um, hippo? Uh, they kill me. Yeah, I don't think there's any getting out of that. They're the single most dangerous animal in the world. That's, uh, that's a murder machine right there. Yeah, yeah. They, I mean, they're super cute. They're silly looking. Yeah. They got that fucking mouth. And don't get me wrong, I've watched that um, that clip of the hippo in the zoo where they're feeding it watermelons and it crunches down on it and it's freaking delightful. <laughs> but they'll kill you. Yeah. Um, I believe this is some kind of fox. That looks like a wolf. A wolf is here. Right you are. So I think this is... That ki- might be a coyote? I don't oh, know. yeah. I can't tell. It's the, the thing is small and we're kind of far away. But if that's the case, I think I have the advantage. What, for fox? For a fox or coyote, yeah. Really? They're not that big. And they're, they're, coyotes are dangerous if there's a pack of them. But, like, if there's just one, I think you can take it. No shit. Well, you see them all the time. They're like mangy dogs. Yeah, but they're, like, if they're angry and they want to kill you. Yeah, they're tough. They got fangs and, and claws. I'm not saying I wouldn't get hurt. So what's your move? Like, you kick them? I say, Coyote, no! And while it's trying to figure that out, <laughs> I punch it in the face. <laughs> they seem pretty dumb. Yeah. No, they're very smart, actually. Are they? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, we, we have the advantage, though, I, I would say. Really? I do, Aaron. There's so many more dangerous animals on this list. Okay, okay, fine. I have the advantage. Okay. Uh, hyena. Uh, that, that I have less um, confidence in. They seem very aggressive. They're also... They're also pack hunters, you know? And Well, you, so are fucking coyotes or whatever. Yeah, I, fair fight is where I would put that one. Really? I think so. Just one-on-one? I think so. Fair fight? Mm-hmm. Man, you are, you are a bold motherfucker. L- listen, I'm not saying, I, I don't, I have no, uh, background information for this, but like, yeah, I think probably. I think most of these are, they have the advantage. Because that shit, I mean, fuck. I mean, they're definitely going to fuck you up. But but kill? I don't know. Damn, Depends all right. on what kind of tools we have at our advantage. Yeah. Like, because we also have the ability to, like, pick up rocks, throw them, swing sticks at them, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, like, if we're just punching with our, our ham fists, then maybe, yeah, not as good a shot. But Okay. Picture yourself mm-hmm. in an arena. An arena. That's different. You come out, hyena comes out, doors close. Mm-hmm. 
What happens? I mean, we're both, no one's going to turn out well from that. <laughs> we're both going to get pretty fucked up. You still think fair fight? I do. All right. Maybe it has the advantage, but I don't know. If you're, if you're fighting for your survival, like, you can do some crazy shit. Fair enough. Duck. I kill them. Yeah. Yeah, ducks are, they, they suck. Mm-hmm. Um, they don't suck. No, they're awesome creatures. Yeah. Just at combat. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, bald eagle. Um, I think we could take it. I kind of think they have the advantage. Really? Why? Well, because they can fly away. They, they just come down. They'd scratch you. You'd be like, ah, like you would. I guess you would have to get like one. Well, you maybe just, it's a fair you just fight. grab one wing and yeah, and then it's fucked up. All right. So what do you think? Fair fight. I have the advantage. I think we have the advantage. They're just not big enough. <sighs> All right. Fair enough. Uh, looks like a, a grizzly bear or brown bear. Uh, they most likely kill us. I think that's true. Yeah. Yeah, most likely. There is a chance? You put them in, I most likely kill them. Oh. They most likely kill there me. There you go. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm almost in the they kill me camp. Yeah, it, it's gonna be real tough. It's gonna be real tough. Because I don't know what I would do against a bear. Like, they're just huge. No, they kill me. Okay. Yeah. Period. I've I've already fought a bear. <laughs> what? I, I had a boxing match. Oh, yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, a capybara. I, th- I think we I think we kill them. I would say most likely. A capybara? Well, they're kind of big. They're not that big. All right. <laughs> Jeez, they're super cute. A rhino. Okay, they they kill us. Yeah, I think they kill me is one hundred percent accurate. Yeah, and that and, second one yeah, would too. <laughs> second round. Well, I guess we can just leave it down here, put it at the end. Okay. Because there's a second kangaroo too. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, a baby seal. Oh man, we kill them. It's one hundred percent. We kill them. They're, oh God, I love the we kill them list. They're so sweet. <laughs> They're all great creatures. Mm-hmm. Uh, a deer. I'm gonna say we most likely kill them. I'm with you on that. It's gonna be tough. I feel like I feel like their stamina and the amount that they can move around. They're strong. They have antlers. They can kick down at you. And yeah, yeah, they're it's tough. One swift kick to the head, I think, would yeah. probably really. Take it's it's you not out. like when hunters go out and they have laser scope rifles versus deer. You know, yeah. it's like it's a it's a tougher situation. Uh, mountain lion. All right, that's a, a most likely kill me situation. I'd say that's a they kill me. Yeah, sure. There's too many sharp claws. There's too many sharp parts to that giant cat. Like if, I guess if like they had you and they like really put their claws into you and he was like biting at you, you could just be like, da, 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 work right at their fucking right. tummy or something. Right. But I don't know, man. Tummy. Yeah. Right at their tum tum. <laughs> their cute little kitty tum tum. I don't think you could call something that's trying to kill you. Like, ha- as having a tummy. Well, that's what it's got, dude. I don't know what to tell you. That's the scientific term. <laughs> that's where you're going. <laughs> right in my tummy. Right in the tum. Uh, so, what, you think they most likely would kill me? No, I, you're probably right. Okay. That's a kill. Uh, this, I believe, is a like a macaque or a gibbon. I think they're small. They so are small, yes. I think either fair fight or they have the advantage. I would say we have the advantage. All right. Good. They're smaller. Good confidence. And they're basically us. Okay. I mean, they can like climb around trees and shit, but I don't know, like the weight difference, you really just push yourself into it. That is true. Them, it know? is all about weight class. All right. I'd say I'd have the advantage. Okay. A giraffe. Uh, I think uh, they most likely kill us. Most likely. Yes. I think you could get some really good shots. You could, like if you trip them. Yeah. I think they can't get up. Yep. But. Uh, easier said than done. I've been around horses though a lot in my life, mm-hmm. and that shit's scary as fuck. D- I I've, I've fed giraffes at the zoo. They're really gigantic. They're very sweet and docile, but man, like, and they swing their heads like clubs. Yeah, like, they, they do. Yeah, they they most likely kill us. Most likely. Uh, this is a wolf. Yeah, or... that's a, that's a most likely kill. Really? Yeah. So you think coyote? I have the advantage, and wolf. They most likely kill me. Yeah, wolves are much bigger. I mean, I guess depending on the type, but the wolves I've seen are bigger than the coyotes I've seen. Damn, dude. That's, uh... You don't think so? I just, you know, it's like... I just keep picturing 
it actually happening? And I'm like, what would I do? I, I guess I would I would fucking like kick them. I yeah. I, would, I see coyotes trotting around our neighborhood, yes. and like they have such a bad rap because they kill people's pets and things like that. Um, and I, they just get built up in your head as like, oh, coyotes, they're they're these evil creatures. They're so scary. They're not evil. And then you then you see one, and like they're just trotting around. It's just like a like a medium sized dog. That's wild. If your dog suddenly got possessed by a demon and tried to kill you, would you win? I don't even want to talk about that. That's very upsetting. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, it's it's like they're cute, wonderful creatures, but they got fucking, like, claws and teeth, and they go, ah, and no, they it'd, it'd be bad. scary, it'd, dude. It'd, it'd be bad. N- none of these would be good. Yeah. Except for the bunny. Uh, penguin. Um, I would kill them. Yeah. There's no question. It waddles. That's, that's what it does. It's a waddler. I uh, believe this is a jaguar or cheetah. This che- is a jaguar. Cheetah, jaguar, no. leopard, Jeez, puma, leopard. mountain there we lion. Go. Like the, they're, they're all killing us. I think this is a cheetah and this is a leopard. It's the same answer. Uh, they would kill me? Yeah. Yeah, that's up there with mountain lion. Yeah. I think so. That's because even like when my cat... Like, if I pet Mochi weird and then he's like, I'm like, oh, God, Mm -hmm. I could die right now. Yeah. And it's just a tiny beast. Yep. Um, Full-fledged lion. Uh, Yeah, that's the king of the jungle, man. Well, I'm I'm barely the king of my own TV room. Don't even begin to say Uh, a counterpoint. uh, You just told me I couldn't kill a coyote. uh, You're going to say I could fucking take on a lion? Hold on, I'm not saying... That you would do great. I'm just saying it might be and they might most likely kill me because this is a male lion. Mm-hmm. Male lions don't hunt. The female lions hunt. They're, They're just big, lazy fucking, sons of bitches that sit around on their fucking rocks all day. We've driven past them in Disneyland Safari. Yeah, they're fucking terrifying. Yeah. But I don't know. You get a good kick to the head and they're just like... Whoa, 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 whoa. They would rip you to shreds. Just smash dude. it open. All right, they kill me. Okay. <laughs> uh, a moose? Uh, yeah, they'd kill you. They're gigantic. I think so, too. Yeah, they're pretty huge. You, you can't, like, really imagine how big they are until you see one in person, and you're like, that's a moose? It's it's <laughs> unbelievable. They're so... They're they're huge. Uh, I don't know how you'd even begin to fight one. I'm just, Yeah, I'm just thinking of, like, is there a method of going after a moose? Because I feel like if you, like get on their side or something, like you could have, like, side. an advantage. And then you just kind of, like, wail on their their little tummy. <laughs> Sounds easy. Well, I mean, if they're charging at you, then you could just be like, whoops, and, like, roll to the side, you know? We're pretty nimble. Yeah. And then you just kind of, and you boop them in the nose, just, boing, you know? And then you get them in the little tummy. <laughs> this isn't a Rocky and Bullwinkle cartoon, dude. <laughs> like, it's, a, it's an actual moose. <laughs> All right, they kill me. Yeah. Uh, I, some kind of cat. That, that looks like a puma. Yeah, like a mountain cat. Yeah, that's a, that's a they kill or most likely kill. Yeah, they're a little smaller though, so I'd say they most likely kill. Okay, cool. Like a like a like a black panther looking thing like this. Mm-hmm. These are pretty big. They are big, but this thing is tiny, and I've seen them. They're I mean they're around here. They're in L.A. Yeah. Like I mean they're rare, but you you see them on people's like. Outside house security cams and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, is this like an ibex or like a mountain goat? Mountain goat. Um, I think I think we'd have the advantage. Really? Yeah. It wouldn't be easy, but like, could kick them off the mountain at least. <laughs> That's assuming you'd fight them on the mountain. Yeah, yeah. I guess we're we're on a desert island that we're. Doing this on it would yeah it wouldn't be easy but I think we'd have the advantage. I feel like they're pretty good with those horns. Yeah, and if, oh, they, the, and if they got you, that'd be that'd be a problem. It's it's we only have the advantage. I would almost say fair fight. Okay. Because I I. Well, I'm cool with that. I'm sw- cool with fair swift fight. Swift kick a quick kick in the tummy would. Kind of get them. Are you getting paid by the word tummy? Like, <laughs> what's going on? What with else this? would you call it? Gut, Belly, stomach, anything. Well, stomach's inside. <laughs> the tummy's the whole area. <laughs> <laughs> Cha-ching. 
<laughs> Tummy counter going up. A uh, fair fight is cool with me. All right, fair fight for the mountain goat. Okay. Uh, a gorilla, uh, silverback. They kill us. Yeah, that's like that's like a tier above. They kill me. Yeah, yeah. Um, they, they they wear you as a necklace. I don't think. I mean, I've gone on this rant before, but uh, we don't know how strong they are. We just don't. Mm -hmm. There's no way to measure it. They don't cooperate with our methods. That's just. We just have to assume that they're super powerful all the time. They're a strong case for veganism because they're vegan and still they're the most, one of the most powerful creatures on earth. Mm hmm. There's that video of that kid beating his chest at him and like, behind the glass oh. and then it runs at the glass and like practically breaks the glass. Kid, not a great idea. Yeah, no. Well, they don't fucking know. They're yeah. just kids. They yeah. see it on a cartoon and they're like, ooh, monkey. Um, yeah. This is a lynx. Uh, that's, that seems like a fair fight. Yeah, it's kind of small. They're small. Yeah, they'll they'll ruin you, but they're small. Yeah, fair fight. Yeah, I think we'd probably win. Um, vulture. Well, I I think we'd have the advantage. Same thing as an eagle. It's like just they're they're not huge. If you messed up one of the wings, they'd be in trouble. I mean, I'm sure they're horrible to fight. I'm going to say I most likely kill them. Oh, well. Because they're not hunters. They're f scavengers. They are, by nature, yeah. Um, so I don't think they have the same, like, slashy, get her done <laughs> attitude. <laughs> Ethos, as, yeah. That's a bald eagle. Okay. I feel like they're kind of worthless mm -hmm. in the fight. You agree? Yes. Okay. Uh, a panda bear. Panda. Oh, man. I think they have the advantage at the very least. Yeah. They're so thick. They're big. Um, they got those claws. Yeah, they have claws, man. They they they'd most likely kill you. They're pretty standoffish in general, I think. Mm -hmm. um, <sighs> probably they most likely kill. Yeah, because yeah. they're kind of slow. I think. I don't Are know. they? They seem like it when they're just relaxing. But yeah, because you always see them just lounging. Yeah, they could probably get <laughs> real serious real quick. <laughs> Because if grizzly bear is up there, I don't know. I feel like panda should be up there, too. Yeah, I think so. All right. They kill me. Okay. Uh, raccoon. We'd kill them. Just straight up? Yeah. I mean, I see them. They're in my backyard all the time. I love them. They're super cute, and I, I watch them. Sometimes I sing to them. I'm embarrassed to say that, but sometimes I do because they love it when I sing Brandy from the Guardians of the Galaxy. And this is Brandy, you're a fine girl. They will because fucking, it's fucking Rocket Raccoon. Well, that's why it started. But they <laughs> sit there and they listen. I I shit you not. Um, but yeah, like when you actually walk out into the yard, they're like, oh fuck, and they run. Yeah. So um, I I think they're pretty. You kill them. Yeah. Right. Unless they were rabid, that'd be a bad situation. Um, a Rottweiler. Ugh. Yeah, that one's, that's a tough one. I mean, if you're talking about, like, coyotes here, uh, you know. I just hate the idea of here. killing dogs. Well, this was trying to kill you. I know, so I know. you gotta make up your mind. Ugh. All right, I guess fair fight. Fair fight? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Could go either way. I feel like, yeah, yeah. I feel like most... There's, like, a lot of stories about, like, Rottweilers going after people, right? And they just get so fucked up. Yeah. If, like, somebody didn't come by and, like, help them, then... Yeah. Um, kangaroo? That kangaroo? I mean, This like, is what they all look like, dude. Oh, my God. It's so beefy. Yeah. Um, probably they most likely kill you. Yeah, they they punch pretty hard. They punch hard. They, they kick hard enough to destroy cars. I think they f just fight. Like, I think that's just their thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, like, super aggressive. I would almost put them in They Kill Me. Maybe. I just, I remember that um, video of the guy punching the kangaroo to save his dog. And the kangaroo's like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, he just kind of stands there. And the guy's like, all right, time to go. Yeah, have you ever seen that? <laughs> yeah, but, okay, I get that. Because, and I, when we were talking about coyotes, this is popping in my head all the time. Because they would probably run away mm -hmm. if you attack them. But we're not talking about that scenario. Right, right, right. We're Fight talking about death. if they fucking fought you. Yeah. I, and I think they would they would most likely kill me at least. Okay. They most likely. 
because they're, I mean, boom, right in the head. They're, you're fucking done. Right. You're done. Well, well, Brian and I also fed some kangaroos or gave them water at the, uh, at one of the Australian zoos we were at. Um, and some of those look pretty scraggly. I think we could take those, but uh, like a jacked up kangaroo like that one, that's, that's a different story. They have the advantage. Let's say they most likely kill you. They most likely kill you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, a great white shark. Yeah, give me a break. They kill you. Yeah, that's not even fair. Like I do. I like I know people say like just boop the snoot. Fuck. I mean, are you kidding me? Yeah. Have when you ever tried it's... to punch anything underwater? Yeah. You ever tried to punch a missile? <laughs> it's, yeah. Oof. By the time you're like getting eaten, you barely have time to register that it's it's already happening. Mm-hmm. They're they're very stealth. Um, a bull. That's yeah. That's yeah. It's gonna be they kill you. Yeah. What are they're, you, a matador? They're, they're like, really powerful. Yeah, of course. Uh, a horse. They'd probably kill you. I think they would most likely kill you. Yeah, yes. I think they're so. They're very powerful creatures. They're, yeah, absolutely. I, I, I feel like... Anything that humans ride into battle, <laughs> like, probably it's because they're badass. I feel like for how big they are, it makes your legs and feet more like spears to them mm-hmm. so it would probably hurt for them to get like a just a real big kick to the to the side or uh, yeah uh, but yeah i don't know they most likely kill you i think you're right turkey Gosh, there's a lot more in this world that can kill you than i oh, yeah. thought about a turkey oh man i just had a sandwich a turkey sandwich i don't think it's i kill them no i think it's i most likely kill them they're so fucking aggressive they are but like they don't really have the weaponry to kill, like it would take a lot of sh- turkey shots. You never seen a turkey feet before? Yeah, I mean it's they it suck, but like they'd go right up in your fucking face and they yeah. just fuck and they'd confuse you. Would they? Yeah, because they got all those big fucking feathers and shit. I th- I think you just start kicking and eventually you'd win. But I mean that's true. I think it's a most likely. Yeah, it's yeah. most likely. Yeah. Um, different penguin. <laughs> I think it's a kill. Yeah, that's how I kill them. Uh, this is a chimpanzee. Oh, fuck. They most likely kill you. They're s- uh, ch- chimps, I think, scare me more than anything. Yeah, it's more like the ethos, I think. They just, they're, they will fucking kill you. It's something, like, as big and strong as a human being that, like... Well, they're not that has, big. ...has no, like, morals or just any, like... Yeah, it's... They're, they're... I would say they're, scary. they're probably half the size of people. Are they? Yeah. They're not super huge. I would at least say they have the advantage. Because they're all strong and, like, athletic. Yeah, look at how fucking ripped he is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they have the advantage. He doesn't even lift, bro. Um, This is a gazelle? Yeah. I think we have the advantage or a fair fight. It's a fair fight. It's all about the horns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the speed. You, you got to get those under control. I feel like if you got, like, the right pattern down... Because I don't think they're going to fight you just, like, head-to-head, you know? They're going right. to, like, get some distance and then run at you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, and it's like, you're not going to f- be able to chase them, like, outrun them. So they're going to be able to do it. Mm-hmm. And when they come at you, you just got to have, like, the right move to get out of the way. Right. And then, like, you know... Like, yeah, like, get at them at the right moment. Yep. So I think it's possible. Okay. So, you said fair fight? Fair fight. Okay. Uh, an African elephant. That would kill you. Like, Ye- how would you do any damage? Yeah. I mean, they're beautiful, intelligent, gentle creatures, but no, they'll fucking kill you. Yeah, I think so. I think so, yeah. Larger, angrier hippopotamus. <laughs> it's a warthog. Oh, that's a warthog. Yeah. Okay, got it. Um, I mean, I think they'll kill you. They're really, really dangerous. You think so? They're yeah. pretty small. Oh, but they're so mean. Hmm. I mean, those tusks are pretty scary, but they're they're just so tiny. And they'll they'll run at you, I guess, and they'll try to like gore you. I mean, there's a lot of instances of them killing people. But if you just, like, jump over them and just, like, land on their body, like, they're fucked. You're going to squish all their insides. Boy, you're right. <laughs> uh, it, that must be so easy <laughs> to jump over a large charging warthog and land But they're not that big. I think they're pretty big. 
No, I've seen them. Allie, can you look up how big warthogs get? Thank you. Um, like fucking just smack them right in the gut. They'll be like, oh, fuck. Do you, do you mean the common warthog? <laughs> I mean, I guess. Um, in terms of mass, mm -hmm. uh, the males can grow to be a 330 pounds. Right. And then the height adult at shoulder can be up to three feet. The length can be up to five feet. Three feet height, five feet length. 330, 330 pounds. pounds, dude. I mean, that <laughs> is pretty hard heavy. charging death. All right. What is it? They have the advantage? Yeah. Okay. I'd say so. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Dude, that dog, that sweet dog with the little brows. Oh, Pitbull, yeah. Ugh. I'd probably let it kill me. <laughs> it's, it, they got a bad rap for a long time. Um, cause I guess they were used as like fighting dogs. Yeah, if you train them to be f fucking killers, they, they'll be killers. But they are horribly sweet. They're, yeah, they're wonderful animals. Um. They have the advantage, I would say. Yeah. That's a strong dog. I mean. I, I, I wrestled, I, I, I used to wrestle with my, um, my Dalmatian pit bull mix. Mm-hmm. And he was pretty fucking powerful when he needed to be. Yeah, we had we had pit bulls as pets when we, uh, we lived in New York, me and all my roommates. And they were so sweet, but, like, when you would, like, play with the ball, you know, like, they would grab the ball and you'd grab the other side of it, you could feel the strength of their jaws, and it was kind of disturbing, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? It's like, okay, let's... Maybe we'll just. Oh yeah, you'd like you'd, you'd like tug like ha ha, and then they'd tug and you'd be like whoa. Y yeah yeah yeah. Maybe let's just sit on the couch and watch TV together. Um, last but not least. Yep. Tiger. A freaking tiger. Yeah, they'd kill you. Yeah, I think there's no question about that. Yeah. They're huge. They're huge. <laughs> They're huge. So what did we learn here today? Um, more animals could kill us than we could kill. Yes, that's for sure. Um. The animal kingdom is a scary place. Yeah, geez. But also a beautiful place. Um, I do like that I put alligator and they have the advantage and not like they would kill me. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't. I, in fact, I think alligator, it, chimp, and warthog could all be bumped up. But it's the size, though. Oh, Ch chimps are very aggressive. Yeah. But they got the same weapons as us. I don't know, man. Look at those guns. Those guns are pretty strong. Those pythons are sick. All right, this goes up. Get in the vet. Gator. <sighs> <laughs> but it's like there's a... You just said you're happy that it's there, so I, I, you can leave it there. Yeah. The warthog I would definitely put in. They would most likely kill you. Really? Yeah. 300 pounds, dude? What are you going to do against that? Kick it. Kick it a lot. I mean, yeah, I mean a lot of All kicks. it can do is headbutt you and try to gore you with its, like... Tusks. tusks. Yeah, the, the things that grow out of its face that are made for goring. Yeah, but like, it's so soft in the belly. <laughs> How do you know that? Have you ever kicked a warthog? Oh, I've pet a pig. <laughs> <laughs> I watch Peppa Pig. It's the same. Oh, man. All right, we can leave it there. This was a violent tier list. Well, I mean, that's the whole concept of it, right? I guess so. It was, it was pretty heavy. Um, but, I th you know, I'm happy with this. Yeah. What do you think? Do you think you could take on a grizzly bear or whatever? I'm sure there are people who specialize in, like, some kind of animal or whatever, and they're like, Dude, what, fucking pandas? Are you kidding me? Like the <laughs> Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. But I don't know. It's It seems like it's mostly a size thing, and then when it comes to not being a size thing, it's a claws thing. Yeah, I'm, look at that chimp. It even looks like he's leaning in being like, Listen, kid, I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> you don't want to do this, yeah, all right? Yeah, you can do this the easy way or the hard way. Think it through. <laughs> oh, man, I just... Because the further down you go, the smaller everything is. For sure. Yeah. And fluffier. Um, although the cobra, the cobra's an outlier because of poison. That's true. Classic cobra move. Yeah. You know, here's the thing about the cobra. Mm-hmm. Is because of the poison... This is a yes, they would most likely kill me, but you would probably kill them in return. Yes. You would kill them first, and then they would kill you later. You, <laughs> you know what I mean? I do. Like, the, the, the slow-moving poison. They're I'm just gonna setting a bomb. I'm going to look up uh, top ten killer animals. Okay, and see if any of them are on this list. 
wow, there's a list just for Australia. <laughs> um, that makes sense. I'm a kangaroo. Okay, oh, so, oh, oh, oh. wow. <laughs> Top is the mosquito because it carries diseases. Oh, sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Hippopotamus, yep. yep. Lion, mm-hmm. yes. Crocodile, mm-hmm. Oh, well, the alligator was put up here. Right, right, right. Uh, they have the advantage, so. That's true. Uh, Cape buffalo, um, which I guess would be the closest thing would be um, like a moose the, or a bull. The bull, yeah, or the moose. Um, the black mamba uh, mm-hmm. snake. Yeah. Box jellyfish, huh? Yeah, yeah. Forgot about that one. Uh, great white shark, elephants. It's up there, yep. Uh, the blue ringed octopus, which I've never heard of. Oh, I've never heard of that either. Uh, wolf. And the puffer fish. Wow. Well, wolf, we had it. They most likely kill me. Yes. Um, and alligator, a, a, a crocodile analog, though they are not the same creature. Mm. Um, they have the advantage. But that's only because I have not experience, but knowledge. Right. And you know people who have knowledge are always right. Of course. Uh, and there's the death stalker scorpion, which sounds friendly. Oh, sure. Marvelous. And zero heart eyes <laughs> rankings. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was, yeah, I'll show you. It's, oh. I didn't even know they could do that. Yeah, so this is our, and then there's four, 14, 14 poo. poo. Right. And then five smiles. Well, that's that's the thing. Like, all these tier lists are so specific to your own feelings, and there's so many choices, like, who would ever agree with, you know, anyone's choices? Oh, yeah, exactly. Well, apparently mine were pretty divisive. But anybody who disagrees with me is wrong, so. Wow. Are you are you giving back their own poo rank- rankings to themselves? Yeah, they suck. Aaron. Your rankings are terrible. No, My rankings are no, great. No, don't say that. Everyone it's, has the right to no, no, their no, own no, choices. No. Yeah, of course they have the right to, but it doesn't mean they're correct. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> but it doesn't mean that shock looking poo won't be applied. Mm-hmm. In any case, I'm we're honored to have been on the front of the uh, page. Yeah, I appreciate whoever submitted us. Uh, submit this one. Uh, the cryptids who are all cryptids and mythological monsters that are the best kissers. <laughs> Is that really what we're doing? Yeah. Okay. Who will kiss the best out of any of these creatures? Starting with fairy. Oh man! All right. Well. Okay, so how large a fairy are we talking? Like the tiny little Tiny ones? fairy. Like Tinkerbell yep. style? A little baby tiny fairy. Well, I mean, like, I, th- I feel like that would be an unsatisfying kiss. Because she'd be like, Mwah. but it would be like one one hundredth of one of your lips. But what if it was on the tip of your penis? That's not a kiss, Aaron. Well, yeah, I guess is. it is a kiss, but... <laughs> we, we need to define what a kiss is before we start this list. What if she sounded you... Aaron, please. <laughs> Started flapping those Aaron, wings. Aaron, stop. I don't even want to think about it. I, like, I crossed my legs involuntarily <laughs> when you said it. Um, I, I, I don't think it would be, I don't think it would be very good. I, I think, I think this is a C. Yeah, the problem is, I think she's probably a really good kisser. But, yeah, if you're talking about me, kissing me, that's a C. It's yeah, it's circumstances, man. C for circumstances. Right. <laughs> Nessie. Uh, the Loch Ness monster. Yes. Which I believe that picture is like, a like a bar of soap in a guy's bathtub. No, it's it was like a wooden. Cre- it's like a wooden. It was definitely something that was not a plesiosaur on a boat or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. But I think it's probably A, because plesiosaurs really like to please you. I don't think that's correct, Aaron. I don't think that's why they... I don't believe the scientific nomenclature is uh, representative of that. I think... I, I think there's a lot of teeth. I think it's a lizard. I think it doesn't care about your life. It's probably like kissing a horse. Yeah. Wait. They do that like, you know, with the gums. Yeah, I, I, see, I think this is the reverse of a fairy. I think, I think it's too big. Oh, yeah. So C as well? I think C as well. Not a D, though? Not a D. I, I do, it would I be, want to give them the benefit of the doubt. It would be a little wet, and you'd be like, yeah. Okay. 
Uh, sentient AI robot. See, I think, I think that's probably an that, S or an A. That's yeah, like an S tier, yeah. Yeah, because it's it's constantly exponentially increasing its own intelligence to figure out how to <laughs> be a better kisser. Well, also, if we're designing them, of course we design them to be fucking amazing kissers. Oh, dude. yeah. Yeah, probably before anything else. They could probably kiss you with, like, every part of their body. S-tier. All right, S tier it is. Uh, a satyr. Yeah, a satyr. Uh, they're really good at blowing that flute, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like a pan, the pan flute. Yeah, um, that's what I meant. And, and I, yeah, I, th- I think you're I think you're right. So probably pretty high up there. Yeah, maybe an A. Are they but they're they're like they're like uh they're like storytellers. What what's their deal? They show up and they play a little tune and then they guide you. Is that the, or is that just Tumnus? I'm only familiar with Mr. Tumnus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mo, mo, 90% of my satyr knowledge are, I don't even know how to say it. Satyr? 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 Say satyr, I guess. I guess. Um, I'd say probably A tier. Well, yeah, I think that's right. Because he's he comes from a land where there's no sexual repression, just fucking kissing all day, blowing flutes. That's beautiful. I think so. What a too. hippie lifestyle. Uh, a kitsune. Th- this one I'm not familiar with. It's like a, it's like a tricky little fox okay. that has nine tails, and plays tricks. Usually it's just a fox, but they I think they use like a hot anime girl kitsune. I can't see it clearly. Can we get a a bigger picture yeah, or yeah, I'll load up a Yeah, more uh more information please. I'll load up a picture of a kitsune. Uh so not this one. That looks like you. <laughs> it does look like me. <laughs> what the fuck? Aaron, are you 3000 years old? <laughs> This is when I was first deciding to kiss a Katsune. <laughs> I already know my answer. I've been through it already. Uh, yeah. Is that Dan on the ground? Wait, wait. <laughs> no! That's not me. Please, no. <laughs> so yeah, Vulpix's evolution line. I don't know what the fuck this is, but Nine Tails. I say. Uh, that's is based on the Kitsune. So this is... So all you furry fuckers out there... Yeah, this is... It, so, wait, is it actually a humanoid, though, or is it... They posted a picture of a, of a hot anime babe. Here's one that Yeah, because that'd be an S, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, we're talking about, like, the actual kitsune, this fucking fox. fox. Well, yeah. I guess an A. <laughs> <laughs> but it wouldn't be good at kissing. Yeah, but, I mean, it'd be like dog kisses, where it's like... Oh yeah, yeah. Th- then those those are nice. They're not romantic, but they, they like you feel the love of the animal. Should I stop talking? <laughs> Who doesn't like to get kissed by a dog? Oh, I'll go A. All right, that's true. They do a little and you're yeah, like, ah! you're like oh, yeah. All right, something loves me. Uh, a naga. Okay, it's that's like a, a that's a snake lady. Snake yeah. person. Yeah, it could be a. a are, are they male nagas? Yeah, it could be a snake guy too. Oh, okay. I mean, I would assume, I would assume very good, right? Because they could, like, wind around you while they kiss you. Oh, and it's my like, God, you're so right. It's an embrace. Yeah, they got that full body kiss action going on there. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. Yeah, all right. So yeah, yeah, but, like, snakes, they're scaly. They don't really have lips, per se. The, I do need more information. I, do they have lips? I don't think so. Really? I think they're, that's going to knock them down a, yeah, a peg or two. I, I think they're snaky, very snaky, All scaly. Right, then, then I guess it's a B. I think it's a B. Yeah. Yeah, right. purely for the embrace thing. So close. If there was no embracement, it would probably be a C or a D. I see. Uh, a Sphinx. Uh, they also used a, a hot, horny anime girl. See, this really... <sighs> there's, there's a lot of... Whoops. There's a lot of, like, wiggle room in all these things. Uh, okay, so Sphinx minus Egypt? <laughs> yeah, so there's- I just wanted to look up different pictures of Sphinxes. I see. They have human faces. Well, that's a plus. And isn't their whole thing they're trying to like- No, that's a harpy. They're trying to like lure you in. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's different. Uh, so I don't know. I, I'd say probably A. I mean, look at this one. Yeah. That's, yeah. Those are some fucking kissable lips right there. Look at that. Mm-mm. So I'm actually gonna go like A tier. Yeah, sure. Maybe S tier, because if you're 
what else can you do? You can't hug. You got yeah. like cat paws. That's right. So That's why I think it's an out. A. I think it's an A. Okay. Because of the the cat paws? Right, because of the like the fact that it can't go to that next level of like holding you gently. Oh, so it just gets really good at the kiss, yeah. at the smooch. Yeah, I think that's right. All right, angels. Oh, that's an S. You think so? Kissed by an angel? I'm pretty sure that's the like name of 8,000 country songs. <laughs> <laughs> They're always beautiful. They're ethereal. All right, devil's advocate. Uh, literally. Do they do they even kiss? Are they too chaste? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know. I think it would be a beautiful experience to get kissed by an angel. Yeah, they'd wrap you in their wings and shit. Yeah. And they'd fucking hold you and they'd be like, it's all going to be okay. And you're like, oh my God, oh my God. you're so right. Yes, I got you. The okay. S tier. S tier's right. Yep. It's Angels not and robots. <laughs> <laughs> Nature's top kissers. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense to me. Uh,. A, a side point, mm -hmm. biblically accurate angel. I don't, I've never read the Bible. All right. I'd let, like to, but. Let me find you. A, I, I haven't found the time. Good kisser, yay nay. That's different. <laughs> That's different. Yay nay. Not sure. <laughs> be not afraid, Dan. B, you, you, you had me at B. <laughs> That's a B. I'm kind of Chad Biblical Angel. Yeah, it's like a meme, Virgin Westernized <laughs> Angel. <laughs> Chad Biblical Angel. Goodness me. Burning wheels filled with eyes. Man, how cool is that? I've I've heard that Satan in the Bible does not look anything like he's supposed to either, or he's supposed to. That that what we've come to believe. He's Satan. supposed to look like that. Yeah. Can you look up like goatee. what what the Antichrist actually looks like in the Bible? Biblically accurate Antichrist. Yeah, because I think it's I think it's got a lot of heads and it's. Um. Um. Maybe not Antichrist. Oh, maybe this maybe one? devil. The beast. Yeah, the beast. That's it. That's what it's supposed to look like. It's like, like a lion, or like is it the dragon heads? one? I don't know, but either way. Dude, that's a lot of kisses. <laughs> oh, look at this one. Whoa, 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 oh, don't whoa. even get me started. <laughs> All right. All right. So, biblically accurate angel is a C. Yeah. Or is yeah. a B? You said B. Yeah, we're going by that picture, okay. that type of angel. Right. Uh, cat people. Cat boy, cat girl. What? Like an anime cat girl. Anime cat boy. Probably like an A. That's probably an A. Yeah. I feel like they'd be a little. Like, I don't know, they'd be, like, cute about it and wouldn't be, like, mm -hmm. like hot about it, you know? They'd be like, mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know. Instead of, like, oh, fuck you. Yeah. Probably it depends oh. very heavily on the anime they're from. Oh, did you just fart? Like what? Kind of, like, they make out. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, Mothman. Mothman. <laughs> <laughs> probably a D. N really? Yeah, yeah. Although, probably has nice moist lips because of all the trap stick he uses. <laughs> Sorry, I almost made Aaron do a spit take there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Theory. Mm -hmm. Mothman precedes bad bad things, right? It's, it's, yes. he's, a, he's a not a harbinger, but a messenger. Yeah, maybe he's a messenger telling you that there's a terrible kiss on its way. <laughs> <laughs> so I think because he's so friendly, mm -hmm. maybe in his little like Mothman circles, he's just like... He's a really nice guy, Fri so he's like- Friendly is a strong word. What? Like, I don't, like, I never got a friendly vibe from the Mothman. I th I, like- Yeah, he shows up and he, like, warns people, it's right? A, yeah, it's supposed to be, like, helpful, but I, I don't know if it's, like, out of goodness or- You don't know what- You don't know what those moth motivations are. <laughs> <laughs> what that moth mouth do? <laughs> uh, alright. So what do you think? I, I mean, I, I think D. D? Look at it! Well, uh, okay, you've never been kissed by a moth before? What? It kind of puts this little proboscis on you. Proboscis? <laughs> if it did that to you in real life, it'd be kind of- Okay, D. <laughs> Ghosts. Ghosts, I think that would also be a D because they yeah. go right through you. Cold, windy. Yeah. Yeah, nothing, nothing great about that. Yeah. 
All right. It's a bummer. Fair enough. Although you could mac on like a dead, a dead person. That's kind of something kind of hot about that, right? <laughs> well, I'm sure like the image, like if it's someone you loved. Yeah, yeah. That died, but like. It's like your wife died in a mysterious accident or whatever, and she comes back and she's like, I'm a ghost now. And but like, then you oh, wouldn't be able it. to kiss her, which would be even sadder. Yeah, but you'd be like, mm, and it'd be like the cold. This is this is bumming me out. All right, D. <laughs> okay. uh, Xenomorph. This is the Xenomorph. <laughs> you know what? What kind of a kisser is the Xenomorph? It consi- well, considering it's got acid saliva and um, well, I don't know if the saliva is a- acidic. I'm just going to assume everything, all fluids coming from that thing, are acidic. It's I- not. Yeah, it's just the. It's just it's drool, right? Yeah, yeah. It might just be drool, but either way, it's got no lips, no eyes. And a second mouth that explodes through the back of your head. That's as D tier as it gets, yeah. I think it's a D. Yeah. I think they're cool, but, you know. Not cool to kiss. Yeah. Uh, Vampire. I mean, S, right? Yeah, I think that's S tier. Yeah, they're super sexy and beautiful and, like... Hundreds of years of practice. Yeah. Like, you know it's, like, your last kiss, so... They they want to make it count. Well, it's only your last kiss if they bite your neck. Right. You can make out with a vampire and it's totally fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then and S. they do that all the time. They have like they have like huge vampire orgies. That's like their thing. They have all these like harems and shit. All right, Aaron, you had me at hello. They're S tier. <laughs> okay. Like one hundred percent. Let's do it. No question. There might be some like dopey vampires that are just kind of like oh no, but mm. like, yeah, vampires are hot. Hmm. I feel like being a vampire increases anyone's hotness. By at least like two points, you know. All right. On like the ten point scale. Oh, a ten point scale. Yeah. So okay. if you're a Not four, on a scale of like to one hundred. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He went from a six to an eight out of a possible one hundred. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're a four and you get turned into a vampire, you're automatically a six. Got it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, Frankenstein's monster. Now here's another one. Is it Frankenstein's monster that movie version or the uh, the book accurate version? Well, those are pretty similar, right? No, completely different. Whoa, really? The book, in the book, he's like, first of all, he's very well-spoken in the book. (laughs) Um, And in the book, he's kind of yellowish. He has long hair. And he's supposed to be made, he's he's still giant, but he's supposed to be made from, like, very attractive pieces of different corpses. But because none of them match, he's beyond hideous. It's like... Uncanny Valley-ish, I guess. Hmm. Let's just say, like... You want to look it up? You want to look up? Best of both worlds. Yeah, book accurate Frankenstein. All right. Because it's it's totally different. Book accurate Frankenstein. 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 Uh... Yeah, that's kind of... That, the... uh, Next to the cartoonish one. This one? Nope, no, no, down. Down. This one? Left. This one? That, yeah. That's pretty close. Oh. Yeah, bl- black lips. Yeah, I think that's... We're talking D. We're talking D, I'm afraid. Yeah, but like... Well, look at this one. That's a cooler one. It's, he's fucking hot. Yeah, that's one artist's interpretation. Well, so is that's this. That's one artist's hopeful interpretation. Well, There's actually another looks, one where he's hot. But that actually looks like the the book's description. Well, he could have black lips. You don't know. It's in black and white. No, Shit. no, he definitely has black lips. They... It, no, I mean like this picture. You don't know. It's in black and white. You can never tell if he God, has God, Aaron, all right. We get it. You want to fuck one, Frankenstein. Is this one? That's pretty good. Anyway, my point is, he seems like a nice guy, all right? He's not. What? No, he's right. He's a good guy. The In the movie one, he's kind of doing, like, he helps the little girl and stuff, but... And he's, he's just looking for love, so he's got that kind of like, oh, please. Mm. Well, I mean, yeah, in the book, too, I guess he's, like, torn. Right? He's rejected by society. Just like his skin. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, put him wherever you want then. I feel like he's a B. Wow. That is a strong, strong kiss, but that's fine. Well, I mean, we were just talking about kiss. Okay. Close your eyes. Get kissed by Frankenstein. You don't know, but you just get, receive a kiss. I think, I'd, I think I would know if I was being kissed by a, a, a sewn together corpse. Man. Okay. You close your eyes, no pretense of that Frankenstein is coming at you, and then you get kissed. How's that kiss? From Frankenstein. C or D? Probably pretty fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Aaron, we'll keep I'll, it. All right, I'll see. I'll go see. Jeez, man. <laughs> Bigfoot. Uh, I mean, that's 
it's got to be an A, right? <laughs> <laughs> He does love knockers. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where you'd put Bigfoot. Um, well, he's always running away, so he's timid. And sometimes, like, the, the, the catch is the hot, you know, the hottest, you know, it's like, oh, he's getting away. And then you get him, and he's like, you got me. You finally got me. And then it's like, mm, you know. <laughs> You have quite the story concocted. I've been in your head. playing coy for so long because I've wanted you to come and find me. Want to mm, put it in B for Bigfoot? Come in. <laughs> I bet he's a really good kisser. Okay. He's, 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 he's monkey esque, and monkeys have those lips that just go for fucking days, dude. Just, mm -hmm. mm, you know? Yeah. So I'm going to say A. Okay. For Bigfoot. All right. Bigfoot's a good kisser. Okay. Centaur. Centaur, I think, would be awesome. Yeah. That's. Yeah. Like you kiss them and then you ride on their back like together through the fields. All right. We're yeah. just talking about kisses here. All right. Not, but I mean, it's a horse aftercare. person. How are you going <laughs> to aftercare? Uh, all right. I, I'm, I'm going to say an A as well. Mm. What do you think? Well, it's, a, it's effectively just a person um, with a horse body, of course. People are good kissers. Yeah. But like. I'm trying to think of, okay, if this was a person and they lived their whole life as a horse thing. Go on. Talk it through. I feel like they would never really get the chance to, like, like lay down and get all, like, cuddly, you know? Mm -hmm. So that maybe makes it reduce a little bit of the point because that's where most of the best kissing comes from. You're probably right. So I'm actually thinking it's maybe, like, middle-of-the-road kissing. Mm, all right, B. Yeah. Okay. Centaur's a B. Fair enough. Cyclops. I'm gonna put it into D. D? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead with a D. It's pretty big. That's my yeah. I've I've I have no evidence that Cyclops are cool in any way. Cyclops, bad depth perception. It would try to come in for the kiss and just bonk you on the right, head every would, time. Yeah, and that's a huge bonk. Yeah. It's got a horn. It's got a fucking horn on it. Yeah, so D. Yeah, no no good there. No good. The Kraken. Uh, the Kraken. Uh, I I think also D or C. What? No, it's got tons of suckers. Yeah, but you don't kiss those. You kiss the horrifying beak thing in the center. Well, I mean, who's to say? <laughs> I can kiss a sucker. All right, then put it wherever you want, man. It's just wet. Okay, so I'm thinking if we're talking Naga rules, right? We're at like. The wraps around your whole body. The hell are Naga rules? We talked about the the Naga, the snake people. Oh, oh, yes. They like wrap their whole body around yes, you. Yes, yes. Kraken yes. does that too. Mm -hmm. So that's a nice little thing that that bumps it up a level. Okay. But yeah, I mean, kissing the little beak. Hold on, I want to see the beak. It's not good. Uh. Just write octopus beak. Octopus beak. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That doesn't look kissably soft. Look at this. Oh my Ouch. god. Oof. That's a squid's beak. That's like a straight up bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're, they're strange animals. Wow. Very right. intelligent, though. I don't want to hurt their feelings. Oh, so C. Not okay, D, yeah, but yeah. C, because okay. you don't want to hurt his feelings. Exactly. That's, that's fair. Cool. That is fair. Mummies. Gonna go ahead and put that in a D. D? Uh, their lips dissolved thousands of years ago. Okay. Yeah. Fair point. Don't say counterpoint. Counterpoint. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, I'm with you, Okay, D. cool. Thank you. Yeah, mummy's not great. Dragon. A dra <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, I want to, but sexy dragon. Ah, <laughs> oh, fine. All right. A. <laughs> Why'd you have to put it in terms that I could understand? <laughs> you have to probably edit a couple, a little bit of that. Yeah, yeah. Some of those were really sexy. <laughs> uh, okay, dra regular dragon. Um, that's a D. You think so? Not a C. Why? Okay, what brings it up a notch? Uh, because I'd rather kiss a dragon than a zombie. What if the zombie was like Salma Hayek? Like, you know, like she, long she, dead Salma. Yeah, Hayek. like she, she died young, 
Well, even if she died now, she's fucking gorgeous. She's beautiful. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Because you see a lot of, like, the um, Egyptian mummies, and they'll do facial reconstruction off of the, the skull. Yeah. And it's a, it's a beautiful woman. And then you look at them now, and you're like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> There's a big difference, man. Once the life leaves a human body, it's... It's not as good. All right. So that's your only point, is that it's better than a mummy. It's better than the D-tier stuff. Even a fucking... All right. But it's a dragon! It's gonna eat your face! Well... It's... What a price to pay. I guess I... Yeah, all right. I would kiss a dragon. I'm assuming on this list that nothing is trying to kill you. Right. Well, it kisses you. Yeah. Well, I mean, like it's all romantically motivated and it's all f fine and coming from a good place. Okay. That's a fair point. And on that point, I feel like a lot of accidents could happen with the dragon. Yeah. It breathes fire and it's got big teeth. Big, sharp teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think some of them have like beak lips. Okay. Uh, skeleton. That's a D for me. <sighs> lips are big with kissing. They, I, I think you're forgetting that. I think I'm. I think I'm with you on that. Okay, cool. Uh, Medusa. Oh, she looks great. Yeah, but if you look her in the eye, she turns you to stone. <sighs> well, I, I, I can close my eyes while I kiss. That's true. Yeah, yeah. And I, sometimes that makes it more romantic. And that's her thing, right? She's like a seductress. So yes. she's probably S tier. Yeah, I think S tier. Yeah, I'm thinking. She, she she doesn't count as one of the other snake people. She's her own thing? No, no, because she just likes snakes, and she has snakes in her hair. Right. But... Oh, the snakes weren't her hair? I, I always was led to believe they were, like, growing out well, of her Well, yeah, skull. yeah, I guess they are her hair, but, like, she she doesn't... Nagas have, like... Snake bodies. Snake bodies, yeah. She's, like, a person. Okay. She just has snakes in her hair and likes snakes. Got it. Which is pretty hot. That's yeah, it's all that's, right. that's some, like... That's some hot goth chicks shit. Absolutely. Uh, gray aliens. Um, again, no lips, tiny, huge, freaky eyes, oddly shaped heads. Like a bee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, counterpoint. No, no, I, I think C or D. Okay, counterpoint. Okay. To that. Mm -hmm. They are an advanced version of us. Okay. Through most theories, right? Sure. So they have evolved... To have bigger heads because of their intelligence, weaker bodies because they use technology. Mm -hmm. I think they would evolve to have bigger lips for better kissing. That's not what it looks like. Though. I know it's not what it looks like, but based on the information that we have theorized about gray aliens, Aaron, if we, if because we... everyone says, "Oh, look at the eyes and look at the big head," if they just see the fucking silhouette with the spaceship behind them. They don't. They can't make out the lips. If we start making up our own shit about this, it's a very different list. I'm not making it up. This is based on things that people say about these creatures. What? Who has ever said that gray aliens have big pillowy lips? Look, when we talked about the fucking Kitsune, we didn't go with the, the girl. We went with the, the, the fox. Okay. So I'm just saying, if there, we... there's a lot of sci-fi movies and novels that say gray aliens are an advanced version of us. Uh-huh. Prometheus. Other and stuff. others in miscellaneous. <laughs> so where do you want to put them? I don't know. I would go S. What? <laughs> <laughs> Are you mad? Yeah. All right. No, no. I mean, if we're talking about this one, yeah, it's probably a C. They're fucking scary. Okay, put it. And, and if we're and if we're talking about the fire in the sky, Joe Biden aliens, I don't know. Fire in the that's, sky, that's Joe Biden. Aliens. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Well, I know fire in the sky, but what does that have to do with President Biden? This fucker looks like Joe Biden. <laughs> it does not look like Joe Biden. It looks exactly like him. He looks like Groot. It looks just like him. Doesn't look anything like Joe Biden. <laughs> I don't like to get political on this show. It's not political. He just looks like a guy. <laughs> Uh, let's, um, let's go see then. Okay, see. Alright. Jesus. De de <laughs> demon lady. Demon woman. She looks beautiful. Devil demon. Yep. That's S tier. Sure. Like, I... 
I think that's her whole thing. Angels and demons. It's just it's, it's sexy either way. That's so. Oh, you're so. Look at that. They yeah. should go right next to each other. Okay, there you go. Look at that. Ba ba boom. <laughs> ba bam. Get out of here, robot. <laughs> Angels, demons, robots, vampires, and medusas. Yep. All top tier kissers. All beautiful. Goo girl. I don't know what that is. It's just a slime girl. It's just a girl made of slime. Okay, then S or A. I think it's S tier. Perfect. There's no question. Um, fish guy. Not a mermaid. Lower. But a fish guy. Like shape of water. Yeah. Fish man. Probably a C. Or maybe a B. I'm thinking, yeah. I'm thinking like yeah, B or A. Maybe a B. Yeah. Because that fish guy was fucking hot. I mean, th there was a surprising amount of romance in that movie from the fish monster. And like... All right, B. I'm, I'm cool with I, B. I don't know. We fish don't, fish when, they, when they swim around, you know, they, they're always doing that. That's what I imagine he would do. <laughs> oh, they're breathing. Yeah. Right, no, no, no. They breathe through their gills. What? Oh, oh, I, I meant... Um, oh, you're right. No, right, you are. I'm an idiot. I'm going to go A tier on him. Okay. Uh, headless horseman. <laughs> I feel like why why even bother saying anything because no matter what I say, like for instance, he doesn't have a head. You're going to say counterpoint. You can imagine whatever head you want. Like, <laughs> That's a good counterpoint. Yeah. Or is the counterpoint that you're kissing the pumpkin head that he throws? Okay, that's right, Allie. Or the headless horseman oftentimes carries his head, mm -hmm. so he still does have a head. Or he could throw the pumpkin head at you, thereby increasing the velocity of the kiss. <laughs> I think Headless Horseman is a D tier. Okay. You agree? Sure. Wait, sure isn't a resounding yes. Yeah, I think it's a resounding yes. He doesn't have a fucking head. Okay, cool. Werewolf man. Um. Yeah? <laughs> could see the like furry gears in your head turn well I'm just trying to figure out where in the wolf cycle are we kissing this we're man. werewolf version okay the the wolf the full yeah, we're wolf not talking version. about a dude all right a b b b yeah w why a b I don't know just feels like ne it it doesn't seem like a great situation but it certainly doesn't seem like the worst situation yeah it's kind of like the we were talking about with the uh, with dog kisses or whatever mm-hmm yeah it'd yeah probably yeah. be like that it's like, oh, who's a bozer? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. All right. Cool. I think B tiers. We can we can settle on that. Zombies. That's that's a low one for me. I'm gonna put that in a D. I think that's D too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Say it's almost the same as mummies, really. Mm -hmm. And uh, mermaid. That's an that's an S. That is S tier. Obviously. Yeah. One hundred percent S tier. They are, they are. Often... I, I have never seen an unattractive mermaid. That's true. In any form of media. Yeah. Yeah. Plus. Isn't their whole thing they're like they're also sirens? They can, I don't know. They like attract um well, sailors. Si sirens are supposed to be evil, right? Yeah, yeah. Because they're trying to drown the sailors. Yeah, yeah, but they still like seduce them. Oh yes. So it's like it's on the way out, it's fucking hot. Mm. Then an S it's, for seduction. It's S, no question. Wow. Yeah. Wow, it really it's like a feast or famine kind of thing with these monsters. Yeah, yeah. So our most kissable creatures mm -hmm. are angels, demon women, robots, vampires, medusa, slime girls, and mermaids. Yeah. And our least kissable are mothman, <laughs> ghosts, the xenomorph from aliens, uh, an ogre, a zombie, a mummy, a skeleton, and the headless horseman. You yeah. know what? I can't say I argue with any of that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Any, any, any moves in the... A, B, and C category? I would put the grays down to D. And Frankenstein. <sighs> the, the, Frankenstein would at least try, you know? Aaron, you just asked me my opinion, and I gave it. I'm just saying, Xenomorph would melt your fucking face off. Yeah, they're bugs. Frankenstein would try. Possibly. Would be con would be considerate and would be like, you know, mm, mm, is it good? I don't know. Like he, he he was intelligent and he did just want to be loved. That's fucking C territory. Okay. It's not D. All right. Aliens are D. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Gray aliens, they all they want to do is put probes up your asshole. I might also put the octopus monster in D. <laughs> <sighs> okay, fair enough. Now that I think about it, not feeling that strongly on the dragon anymore either. 
need I remind you? <laughs> You're right. Let's put it in B. <laughs> Bump it up. Okay. All right. Good stuff. This 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 looks good now. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right this is yeah. good what well, do you think leave it in the comments yeah or or post this on the tier maker website so that you can vote a thousand poops i especially want to hear from anyone who would put anything from our s tier in the d column and anything from our d tier into the s column I don't. I, row, I guess. literally don't think there would be anyone i think i don't know i think people would argue for medusa being in the d because I would argue for Medusa being the D, you know nice, what I'm saying? Oh, nice. God. No. I get it. But because she turns you to stone, and that's that's a deal breaker for a lot of people. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Um, yeah, I'm, but I'm curious. I, I bet a lot of people would put robots in D, too. Uh, yeah, I agree. But it's like, I mean, if we're talking fucking sentient robots, like, we made them, we made them fuckable. I... Period. I, I assume 